But if you close your eyes Hi guys, welcome back to an interesting video by Maximus Today we're back with more Injustice Gods Among Us So as you guys can see, today we'll be doing the Rebirth Raven Challenge And before that we have, um I'm going to um, tell you guys some updates about the game itself. So, um, of course, as you guys know, we recently just update or patch 2.15. But I did not do a video for it because I felt that the changes were too little to justify an entire video on it. And besides, nowadays, I'm quite busy because now I'm having my exams um, for um, these two weeks. So, probably from now... Um, to two weeks more you guys probably won't be having any videos from me except for this one so um before i actually get into um doing the rebirth raven challenge which i did because i needed more copies of raven um, because i only have her elite two from the last time i did the challenge and i did not promote her after that so yeah so um first i'm gonna go through um the changes for a uh, patch 2.15 so, firstly, we have a new gear and a new character. Um, so, the new gear is the Astro Harness or the Astro Force as its base form. So, I don't have any pictures of it, but I can describe it its effects to you, and you guys can judge uh, for yourselves. So, I'm guessing that it's going to be next week's um, multiplayer reward after um, Flashpoint Deathstroke. So, I'm first going to show you guys the new character, which is Flashpoint Deathstroke. So, he does synergize with with um, Flashpoint Batman itself, so we might be having a Flashpoint team if there is another update for Injustice before um, Injustice 2 comes out. So, as you can see, his um, passive is known as Pirate Crew, so Deathstroke has a chance on special attacks to be assisted by Flashpoint teammates. So, basically, if you have uh, Flashpoint Batman, currently, if you have um, that, since Flashpoint Batman is the only other Flashpoint character, if you have Batman on his team, uh, you have a chance of having an increased combo ender. And yeah, so, oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong part of the passive. So, basically, uh, when you activate your special, you might have an added effect uh, of your Flashpoint teammate helping you, much like the Rebirth um, Jessica Cruz um, passive. So, the second part is that Flashpoint characters um, um, add attacks to the back of his combo ender. So, his combo ender is the regular rifle shot for other death strokes, but I believe that he does do more shots, and there is an additional part if you have Batman on your team. Um, of course, I will not be doing the Flashpoint Deathstroke multiplayer challenge because, as I said in the previous video, um, I don't normally do um, multiplayer for characters because I find it too much of a hassle. And although they are really, really good, but I just can't put in the effort, so sorry about that. So um, I'm going to talk about the new Astro Harness gear at its final form. So, basically, it has three effects. The first effect is that it adds 10% dot um, off your special damage to your opponent. So, where you activate special 1 or special 2, let's say my special 1 does 1,000 damage, so my dot will do 10% of the 1,000 damage, which is 100 damage, over the course of um, X number of seconds. So, same thing if I activate special 2, um, it, it does 10,000 damage, then my electrical dot will do... Um, 1,000 damage. So the electrical dot is something like um, Kandak Black Adam's um, electrical dot. So the second part of the um, gear is a bit confusing and I couldn't understand it at first, but um, just allow me to explain. So basically it says um, that you have 75% chance um, on lethal hit. You have 75% chance to increase your health by 40% or something. I don't know what's the exact wording, but basically what it means is that if that hit um, is going to knock you out, there's a 75% chance that your health bar will be increased by 40%, so that basically means that you have 140% um, health. Um, so technically, if he, he activates a special just as you're about to die, and let's say your health increases by that 40%, he could technically still knock you out by doing enough damage to um, kill away your extra 40% health that you got from the gear. So basically, it just has a chance of increasing your overall maximum health on lethal hit. Yeah, if you guys actually understand what that meant. So the last one is probably the most game-changing um, 
ability, which is invulnerability. So I think at 100% health, 50% health, and 10% health, if I'm not wrong, you get invulnerability for a couple of seconds. So what that does basically is like the um, Batmobile gear um, giving invulnerability. Basically, they can't do anything to you. Um, and the fact that you have these three skills that increase your, um, the two skills increase your survivability and that is really, really useful, is that it takes up only one gear slot. So that's the most massive part of it. And you guys will see later that we have some changes to gear. So um, let's take a look at the gear now. So they have changed two pieces of gear. So um, before I mention about the gear, I do want to mention that they are adding a couple of new packs, like the Hollywood pack, which is a pack that you have to pay real-life money for that contains uh, MetaHuman, The Flash, Reverse Flash, and Arrow Green Arrow. I feel like it's a really, really good pack, but it's not for in-game money, so for you guys who want to actually spend on the game, then go ahead. Um, also, we have the um, Injustice 2 pack, which is basically the normal 150k pack that gives you a chance of getting Injustice 2, Superman, Aquaman, so for those of you who have missed the challenge, now is your chance to get it. So the most major gear change is in the 4th world set. So basically, after the update, you now have a 100% chance to regenerate 50% health over 30 seconds from the special one. So what it used to be is that you um, regenerate like 6% health per second, um, 6% health per second for a couple of seconds, which basically makes you heal at a really, really fast rate. But now, you can regenerate half your health, but it's over the course of 30 seconds. So, you gotta wait half a minute for uh, your 50% heal. So basically, the amount of health you're getting per, per second is like 2 point something percent. So it's really um, quite slow. And you're gonna have... Uh, and also, there's a cooldown now. So, 5 seconds cooldown means after your 30 second heal ends, and you have to wait for another 5 seconds before you can start healing again. So, effectively, it's a 35 second cooldown. However, the um, plus side of it, I should say, is that you can heal while tagged out. So, you can activate a special one and tag out, and you'll continue healing. So, I guess that kind of balances it a bit, but I'm pretty sure that most of you will agree with me that the that the previous um fourth world two piece was um or fourth world three piece is way better. Um I'm pretty sure you I'm pretty sure you need oh or oh, did they change the set properties for the two piece and three piece as well? I remember that the heal need needed the three piece, but maybe they changed it back to the two piece. I think let's um let's take a look at it. Um, shall we? I'm um, go through the character. So Nightwing has it for me. So Nightwing is right over here. So, yeah, I do believe now we only need the two piece. So at least that part got better as well. I guess you could say. So the next major change is the LexCorp Gauntlets, which basically also has to do with the healing. So. Let, uh, now you have 60% chance to regenerate 20% health over 5 seconds with a cooldown of 5 seconds. So effectively, that's cooldown 10 seconds. So um, I have actually used this and I found the cooldown irritating, but I think it's not as bad as the 4th world um, nerf, if you will. So um, it is, I think the previous one was better, um, quite obviously, but the change is not too big, at least compared to the 4th world. So yeah. So, anyway, so uh, we do have a couple of, um, I don't know whether you call it minor changes or what, but we do have a couple of other changes, I would say. So, um, firstly, um, we have um, a glitch with um, Silver and Gold Joker, which is Insurgency Joker and Joker Prime, I believe. Um, let me sort and check. So, we have Insurgency Joker and, oops, not that, and... As well as Silver Joker, which is Joker Prime, yeah. So their passive um, is Toxic Death. So when your your opponent knocks out Joker, his opponent loses health. But currently, there is a weird glitch that the passive doesn't trigger unless they knock you out with basic attacks, which is really um, bad for you, I guess. It's really weird. I don't know why this glitch suddenly popped up. And next, we have um, Wally West. Um, if I can actually find him. Alright, Wally West passive has been fixed. So, 
um, Rebirth characters um, now also receives a power generation boost. So I guess technically it's not fixed. It just got um, yeah. So instead of only him getting power generation boost, we have all Rebirth characters getting power generation boost. So that's great. It just made him an even better character. So and like the last change that we have is Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. So Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman can now heal herself on her special. So. You, um, Wonder Woman's special attacks trigger team health gain, which was 50% of special attack damage and healing. So now she can self sustain and heal herself. Well, last time we were talking about the drawbacks of Donald Justice Wonder Woman being that uh, she can heal her team, but she can't heal herself. So now she's a way better character as she can heal herself with um, her own um, specials. So it's like a built in. Um, heal from special 1 or heal from special 2 gear. So that's really, really good. And so that's all for the um, patch changes. So I'm just going to jump into the actual um, boss fight with Rebirth Raven, uh, which we have actually done before, um, like quite a lot of the past few fights. Um, so um, last thing I want to mention is that the official release date for Injustice 2 mobile app is actually 11th of May. So we have just merely about slightly over a week um, below two weeks to enjoy this app that I'm currently playing right now so yeah it's that's really sad but we can't do anything about it so as for whether this app will still stay relevant after that I don't know because all signs are pointing to no because I don't think that they would um, actually continue um, updating the app and whatnot after the update but however um, if they did did not want to continue the app, I don't know why they release an update so close to the release of Injustice Two, and also they are re releasing they only release two Flashpoint characters, and it, their passive looks like team passive. So I do believe another third Flashpoint character at least will come out. So maybe possibly we have one last update. However, on the other side of the coin. They might just completely stop caring about this app the moment um, Injustice 2 comes up and just leave us hanging with the two Flashpoint characters. I mean, that is um, a real possibility, I guess. So, of course, I'm hoping that, um, you know, um, that they would actually uh, continue doing this app because um just want to let you guys know in this video right now that I probably won't be playing Injustice 2. Uh, when it releases because I don't know I just don't really want to and so let's just get into the match I don't know why I chose special one since special one is disabled but let's just um, get rid of um, regime raven and get the flash in so probably I'll I'm gonna die to get her in justice one because I don't really want to play in justice two it looks way too complicated I might try but I don't think um, contrary to what I said in the last video, you know, I'm having major, major exams this year and they're coming up real soon. So I don't think I'm going to have the time and energy to play Injustice, especially, you know, with the grind and all. So probably, probably not. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I guess nothing is confirmed for now as we destroy Raven. So, you know, we get our next copy, our, I don't know, all together six copy of Raven technically and the Azerathian cloak so yeah we'll just see how it goes but most likely you will not see me playing Injustice 2 so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it so hopefully that's what I'm saying hopefully they continue with Injustice 1 because I really like Injustice 1 so anyways guys thanks for watching the video guys and goodbye <laughs>